is that I have come that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. And what that says to me is that any behavior on the part of any individual or any institution that diminishes the life of any child of God, that defines any child of God pejoratively, that forces any child of God to live inside the definitions of negativity, that that person is simply doing that which is evil and that which is contrary to the meaning of Christ. I have come that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. And what that says to me is that the church of Jesus Christ must be dedicated to the life of the people of the world. So that if anybody wants to diminish a person because of the color of their skin, the Christian church with all of its power ought to oppose that and call people into the fullness of life. When any church or institution wants to condemn a person or relegate a person to second-class citizenship because they are female, then it seems to me that the whole Christian church must stand against that diminishing behavior and call all women into the fullness of their humanity. And when any individual or any institution wants to look at the gay and lesbian people of the world and define them in such a way as to diminish their humanity, then I believe it is the responsibility of the Church of Jesus Christ to oppose that with all of the vigor possible. I have come that you might have life. The God that I worship, the God that I see in the person of Jesus of Nazareth, is a God who is committed to life, committed to love, and committed to the possibility that every person can be all that that person can be. That's what the gospel is all about. And that's the gospel that this community of faith has so often had to bear witness to in alone as a very minority voice inside the body of Christ. But the day is coming and it is coming rapidly. And the Christian church will once again rise beyond its prejudices. We welcomed Gentiles early in the Christian faith. We finally got our heads around the fact that women were also fully human. We have finally gotten through most of the negativity of our racism in the past. And we are rapidly getting past the homophobia with which we have defined significant numbers of God's people in negative and pejorative ways. The church must be a community that welcomes and enables you to be all that you can be. The church must be what I would call a come-as-you-are party, not come as somebody thinks you ought to be, but come as you are. Our task is not to be the judges of the people of the world. Our task is to make the love of God available to the people of the world so that they can incorporate that love and become what they were meant to be in the infinite variety of God's humanity. People of every race and ethnic origin, men and women, gay, straight, bisexual, transgender, left-handed people, right-handed people, all of the varieties in our humanity. All we are called to be is what we are, not what anybody demands that we must be. That's what the gospel is all about. That's what the Christian faith is all about. And when the churches do not recognize that, they bear witness to hostility and negativity and pain. But ultimately, the love of God will transform the world. Slavery didn't exist, but didn't continue to exist. Segregation was finally defeated. Apartheid was finally defeated. Discrimination against women was finally defeated. And by God's grace, discrimination against gay and lesbian people will also be defeated. And I see the signs of the victory now. I rejoice that Eugene Robinson is to be the Anglican Bishop of New Hampshire.
He is a close personal friend, and he will be a very powerful witness to the meaning of the gospel. So I see the victory. I see the horizon. I see the day coming when gay and lesbian people can find their place in every community of faith, Catholic and Protestant, Evangelical and Fundamentalist, across the spectrum. And when that day comes, the church will be more whole and more loving and more nearly what the body of Christ is supposed to be. God bless each of you and be who you are. Thank you.